All right. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to International Podcast 2020. Uh, we are absolutely excited to have you here for the seventh uh, International Podcast Day. It's the third year that we're doing something. We've got a great group of podcasters from all across the world actually join us today. And we encourage you guys, wherever you're joining us from, to do me a favor, type it in the chat roll, where you're from, what's the name of your podcast, what's it about, as we like to share all things podcasting today. Uh, my name is Scott Carson. I've been the host of a, a podcast for over three years now called the, uh, the, the Note Closers Show. I specialize in buying distressed debt, very small niche of real estate investing here in the United States. And like I said, for three plus years now, we've been podcasting and uh, absolutely love what we do. It has been such a huge and very new critical piece to our marketing for what we do to attract investors, to attract uh, bankers, and also helping us educate our students across the country out there. But we've got an amazing lineup for everybody here uh, who's joined us. Uh, one of the great things about podcasts, and I believe it's really to a family that believes in the word called co-opetition, everybody, uh, where everybody's working to get their podcast, to get their, the growth, the expansion, to connect with their uh, niche of listeners out there. And, but we're all doing it in a way. I know that I'm uh, very grateful for so many podcasters who have helped me out over the last few years to really help me get my show go up, not only up and running, but help me with the production side and also the growth and the monetization side of what we do out there. So uh, big kudos to quite a few people out there. We'll name them throughout the day, obviously. Uh, and we've got a couple of them coming on here later this afternoon as well for you. So a 10-hour live stream uh, definitely is going to have a, a few glitches here and there. So we just encourage you for a couple things if you're joining us live here. Uh, just to be cool, um, we have a way, a backup to a backup for the most part. Um, you know, you never know what's going to happen with Zoom. We never know what's going to happen with people's internet or audio or things like that. Is uh, They join us from different parts of the country and different parts of the world as well. So we've already got a few people on here this morning to join us from different parts of the world. If you guys will type in where you're from, where you're going, and, and the name of your podcast, we're, we're pretty stoked out there. But one of the great things, guys, that I love about podcasting is such a, a mixture of how people use podcasting, or should we say vidcast? Some people would argue that this is not a podcast because it's not purely audio. Other people say it is a podcast because we are going to throw it up on iTunes and Stitcher and all that stuff. Uh, or that it has a video element for it, so it's more of a video ver or a vlog versus a podcast. I'm a big believer that as long as you're producing content these days and using video or audio or a combination of both, like I do, you're a podcaster. Yes, you may be a video caster. That's fine. But if you are using your video in any sort of uh, way with the audio, throwing it up on any of the podcasting platforms, I think we're all podcasters these days. This is The market has changed quite a bit. We've evolved. It is the 21st century, and with over a million podcasts out there, um, I think evidence is to, to, to sway the way of saying, well, yes, we're all podcasters. We're all producing content. For those guys out there and gals that are of the old school where it's just got to be audio, that's fine. But I honestly think that you're missing the boat when it comes to connecting with an audience out there uh, in more than one way of just audio. We all know that only about 26% of the population actually does listen to podcasts with that percentage being mostly US based out there. So if you're not using video, which is what we're doing here too, um, you're kind of missing out on a big chunk of, of people that could be listening to your show or watching your show, especially with YouTube and Google and all that good stuff. Well, what are we gonna cover today? Well, we have, like I said, we've got about 19, 20 different podcasters that'll be joining us throughout the day uh, with yours truly being on and being the host. We're going to ask them, hey, how are they using podcasts in their business? We're going to be asking them, hey, what's one marketing tool that they're using that they like above others? What's, you know, what are the, what's their end goal? Where do they see themselves in three years, five years? You know, we've got some new podcasters and we've got some podcasters that have been on for, you know, almost a decade, if not beyond that now. So it's a good mixture of learning from people, whether you're watching this live uh, or you're catching the replay of this, we encourage you to ask questions, to be present, and to really network with everybody else that's out there. Uh, we know it's getting a little early. It's a little early here in some parts of the United States, other parts of the, the world. It's afternoon. It's in. It's good evening in some cases for some people out there. So I just kind of want to go through is before we bring on our first guest out here this morning, 
we do have uh, here morning here in the United States. We do got a, a pretty good lineup, if you can tell. Uh, just absolutely, really blessed on putting this thing together. And for the third year straight, like I said, we've done a, a live stream. We've done a 12 hour live stream before for international, for national social media data. A couple years ago, we did a 27 hour live stream. Yeah, 10 hours, that's kind of old hat for us. <laughs> but one of the things that <clears throat> we do value is just what everybody's contribution to this is. And no matter what type of podcast and event I've gone to, whether it's been in person, I was fortunate to go to the last PodFest in February before everything got kind of chaotic in the world these days, that you can learn something from everybody out there, whether they're brand new or they've been around for a long time. Everybody brings a different perspective to the podcasting place, to the podcasting I mean, Some people, like I said, are using it for different purposes. Some are using it to tell stories. Other people are using it to educate. People are trying to use it for as a way to heal. We do have some healers on here today. We do have, you know, some more heavily production focused people. We do have people using it for marketing for a variety of things, from jewelry to their practice to finances to um, well-being and, and spiritual. It's just a such a great mixed mixture of people. We'll have people popping in and out from all sorts of different niches and podcasts throughout the day as they come on and join us throughout the day, or they jump on or later this evening as they get off of work. Or they join us before they're going to bed if they're an international flair for you. So really stoked about it. Uh, we've got such an amazing line of guys, people from just absolutely amazing people and they're from all across the world. Uh, and I'm glad to count a lot of these people as my friends or new friends as we're on this crazy podcast journey out there. Um, there's a variety of, of things that people are doing uniquely to their shows. And we're really looking forward to them sharing their message and sharing with, with you guys what they're doing out there. People taking their show and turning it into its own podcast festival, taking their show and sharing it to the masses. People using it as a speaking platform for their TED Talk or using it to launch a speaking class or other speakers out there. Absolutely just an amazing aspect out there. Uh, I, like I said, I've been podcasting for three years, but been a digital marketer for well over 10, over a decade now. And my show, like I said, guys, we, I just celebrated my 625th episode. We do crank out quite a bit on a weekly basis. It is a niche within a niche. Now, while we do offer uh, a lot of great um, information, because we do use my podcast, not only to educate uh, other potential real estate investors about our niche of don't investing, but we also use it to interview. So it's basically 50-50 interview and education with what we do. And we've been very fortunate to have it now be uh, nationally syndicated across the country on different radio stations with millions of listeners each month. Um, that's absolutely blown me away. Never in my day of podcasting, when I first started off doing what I'm doing 10 years ago, did I think I would be a nationally city radio and podcast host. Now, going back to in college when I was a radio DJ and I was mass comm major, eh, great. Podcasting has allowed me to kind of continue to itch that itch, I guess you could say. And, uh, you know, while I'm not quite the, the most latest ESPN sportscaster, I'm <laughs> doing some fun stuff with my niche out there as well. Uh, we've got people joining us from all across the, the country. James A. B. with the Wealth Matrix, Top Investor Secrets. He'll be sharing us here in just a second. Followed by my buddy Jesse T. from the Jesse T. Show, who's a financial advisor and wealth coach. We got that followed up with the, the, the founder of Outlier Podcast Festival, Mr. Ever Gonzalez, joining us this morning. Uh, after him, we've got Bill Allen from Seven Figure Flipping. He'll be sharing, us, sharing his podcast and his journey and secrets. After that, we've got Stream Hackers Radio. Uh, with Ben Lyons coming on to talk about what he's doing. Um, then we uh, have uh, my friend Win uh, Wendy Laidlaw, who's going to be talking about her podcast, Heal Endometriosis Now, Endometriosis. Sorry, naturally. And then we've got our buddy Mark Harrell, who's going to come on and talk about the jeweler's philosophy, his jewelry show. Uh, then we've got our friend Teresa Goss going to come on and talking about expert talk what she's doing with her show and a variety of other ways of launching it and getting the word out on what she's doing. After that, we've got our buddy Ravi Dabirio from Himalayan Tales coming on. I think he's on here already this morning. Hopefully did not butcher your last name too bad. <laughs> After that, we got Anish Verma going to talk about the Empower Your Mind for Success podcast and what he's doing to reach out to people. After that, we've got the, the founder and the head honcho behind One Big Tip podcast, Jeff Mendelson coming on to talk about his show. After that, we've got my friend Christy Hostler joining us from Key West, Florida to talk about podcast monication secrets. 
Uh, she's been a big podcaster for years and a big name in the Florida Podcasters Association and does a lot of podcast production and working with other podcasters. Uh, we've got my friend Angel Hartwell coming from the Wickedly Smart Women podcast. She's going to be showing up talking about how she's reaching women and was reaching men with another podcast called Wickedly Smart Men that she just recently sold off. After that, we've got my buddy, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Tom Hazard from Feed Your Brand. Uh, Tom is also the... Uh, the the founder of podetize.com. They're one of the largest podcast production companies out there. Uh, could not my show and my, where I'm at today would not be at without Tom, his wife, Tracy, and their whole team over there at feature brand and podetize. So looking forward to having him on the, following that. We've got a, a relatively new podcaster, Doug Piper, the beer connoisseur podcast. Uh, he'll talk a little about how he's actually been sponsored by a large magazine in his niche and, and what he's doing. This will be an interesting interview for sure. Uh, after that, we've got Lav Shindapali with Women Leaders Rising. She's got a relatively new podcast, but been in her niche for quite some time uh, and looking forward to hear from her. Following up that with my buddy, Corey Poirier uh, from Let's Do, Call, Let's Do Influence. Uh, he's a buddy of mine who's been doing some well, uh, amazing things with speakers and has launched Blue Talks, which is a different kind of take on the TED Talk series. So we're looking forward to talking with Corey out of Canada. Uh, then we've got my friend, Marsha Reiner, coming on to talk about Profit with a, P a Plan podcast. She's been helping entrepreneurs grow profits and drive growth. Uh, so we're looking forward to having her. And then we've got one other podcaster join us. I don't have Lissy, just joined us late last yesterday, but we're excited uh, to have Marco Fagnelli out of Michigan join us to wrap it up at 6.30 today. So really great diverse lineup. And as I say, I encourage you all to share who you are, where you're at, what you're doing with podcasting, and a variety of amazing things that you're looking forward to with your show over the next six, 12 months. Now, we all know that with uh, podcasting, I think it's become really the last, last area of traditional free speech out there, being able to provide whatever your, con your content is, wherever you're at, whatever your focus is really believe it's really the, the last areas of free speech, especially here in the United States and other areas out there too. Um, you have to look at what a lot of people are doing and how they're doing their shows, whether it is a short, hey, 15 minute episode, 50 minute show, or a three to four hour live stream episode, that, uh, AKA, you know, like the, be it like the Tim Ferriss's out there in the world. <laughs> There's a lot of different ways to do this. And whatever your message is, that's, that's a beautiful thing. If you're a relatively new podcaster, we do get a lot of people that ask us questions about what, how the, what's the ideal length of an episode? Is it 30 minutes? Is it 15? Is it an hour? And the question is yes and depends. All depends on what it takes and how long it takes you to get your message and what you're trying to achieve with that episode. We'll talk about some monetization strategies because that's always a big thing. People are like, this is a passion project of mine. I got to stay original or others like I need to make money I need to cover my cost because it take, does take money to uh, edit and produce and do things like this not much but depending on how many episodes you're cranking out it can get costly um, we would not be able to do what we do on such as a scale of what we do without sponsors helping us on a regular basis with what we do sponsoring our show from the beginning and then small um, at smaller sponsors as well for you guys so one of the things that we always will talk about too is, especially throughout the day, marketing strategies. What are you doing to market your podcast? What's your favorite thing? What's the favorite tool that you have that you're using on a regular basis to market your show? Um, and while today we'll often feel like it's basically about 20, 21 different mini podcast episodes, which it is, we will be taking this live stream and obviously throwing it on iTunes and different podcast platforms out there, about 20 different ones that we use and distribute our shows to. It's also, I think more so with Corona, it's brought, podcasting has brought more people together, especially with Zoom and everything's going on in the world. It's a beautiful thing is that when you can talk to people that are hours and hours ahead of you or hours behind you on the clock, it's really bringing people together. And that's the big idea with International Podcast Day. Now, while this is, this is in the seventh year, what do you think, Bill Allen, from the official International Podcast Day um, show, or I did not say show, but he does have a different um, different live stream. There's a beautiful thing. There's so many different Podcast Day live streams going on. My friend Eric Devins with the Christian Podcasters Association is doing an eight-hour live stream 
the people. Um, you know, there's classes going on. Podfest has a basically three day master classes going on from the 28th through today. Um, just a great way for people to get together and connect, especially since we can't get together in person. We can't shake hands or bump elbows as the new things or pound fists or just to embrace. Uh, this is the way to have a, a virtual coffee with just about anybody across the country, whether you're joining live and watching and being able to communicate or you're just listening in like a fly on the wall, like many people will be doing throughout the day. So cheers, whether it's coffee in the morning or a pint for you, we're glad that we're having you here today on International Podcast Day. Mm. Love it when the coffee kicks in for you. It's early here in the United States. Like I say, it's right just after eight o'clock and we're ready to get rocking and rolling here with our first guest here in just a second. But I um, want you all who are watching this, like I said, whether live or on the replays, do me a favor, type in the chat roll, type in the comment section, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook, where you're from, what your podcast link is, and we'll be glad to share that with everybody that's out there. So I'm just looking here on the live stream from Facebook to see what I can see. Um, there we go. Uh, Brigitte Lynn Bamba says, Gabriel Ripley, 13 tall ceilings. Oh. Sorry. Okay. I'm looking here if you post. Oh, that's sorry. <laughs> uh, that was somebody commenting on their podcast aspect of things <laughs> from a couple months ago. Now, I think you look at it any type of international day. Uh, somebody who really knocked it out of the park and did an amazing job a few weeks ago um, was Tony Robbins with his Unleash the Power Within summit that did amazing out there with so many people um 25 30,000 people across the country doing some amazing things it, just absolutely amazing to be a part of that um and we're, we're, we're stoked to see that stuff as well there for you so anyway guys what i want to do let's uh let me do this i'm gonna bring something up here so i have Everybody's in one spot there. There we go. So it is morning time here. We're excited to have you. We're excited to have our first guest join us and our first guest podcaster join us here in just a second. I see that he's online there. I'm going to actually bring him on over as a panelist again. Hopefully he's not uh, doing something behind the camera there. <laughs> Good morning, James. Uh, can you hear me, buddy? I just sent you, I just moved you from attendee to panelist. And we'll get rock and roll here in just a second with you. Hang on, James. You got to unmute, unmute yourself. Can you hear me now? I can. All right, buddy. Well, give me one second here, and okay. uh, we'll have you come on. We'll have your session going on a couple minutes early. How's that sound? All right. Okay. You doing all right this morning? Yes, I'm good. Thank you, Scott. And um, it's been a, a very um, interesting journey, and I'm so glad to see you and um, the kickoff of this international podcast. Awesome. One second. <laughs> 